Hope you're having an amazing day. Today I have something uh, very special I wish I had when I was a kid. So this is the, the Beaver Lab Microscope M2. Uh, they sent me this and I'm glad they did. I've actually had quite some fun uh, reviewing this. So taking a look at what we get here, there are quite a few things as you can see. So we get the tool storage box and then we get the specimen collection box as well, which is uh, this box here. It does come with a quite some storage here. So it comes with a total of uh, seven storage unit. Each has uh, three little more storages in there. And uh, we do get a lot of stickers here as well. And we also get the three collection bottles as well, uh, ranging from 80 mil, 60 and 30 mil here. We also get the 10 blank slides as well. And just to show you the glass quality here, uh, let me just pick one here. So that's the glass. And uh, to my surprise, uh, there are uh, 10 biopsy specimens as well in here, which uh, we are going to take a look at shortly. One thing I was uh, very surprised to see is the quality of the things we get here, um, especially like the booklets. Uh, this one is the observation record book and just the quality of it looks pretty good. But the one that's uh, kind of very impressive, it's uh, this one, the little world, uh, big fantasy. And the quality of this book is like very colorful and uh, it does have uh, one of these pages that extend as well. And it does have some great artwork here as well. Now looking at the actual unit itself here. So we are able to detach the main micro microscope here. So if I just go ahead and pull it out, you're able to grab this and pretty much uh, bring this with you. So you can go ahead and look at, uh, for example, I have a few things here like a leaf outside or anything you really want. You can grab this standalone and use it. And uh, the base station has some uh, great features as well here. So we got the magnetic specimen holders here as well, if uh, you wanna go ahead and use those. Uh, but the cool thing here is the bottom part here, you're able of course to turn the light on that. So if I go ahead and turn the light here, you can see the light there and you're able to adjust the brightness as well. But the other knob here, we're able to turn the colors on, which is a very good feature to have here because uh, it will make shots you take from this uh, seem very cool. And the way the colors transition from one to another after turning the knob here is very good as well. So just taking a look at the main unit here, uh, there are a few buttons in the back. Uh, so we got the plus minus here. Uh, that's for the digital zoom and then the power button. To go ahead and turn the unit on, just hold it for about three seconds and it turns on. Then we got the brightness levels, so up and down here, which does turn the light here. So let me go ahead and turn it on so you can see how that works. Okay, so the unit is on right now so you can see the lights here. The good thing about the light here, I actually had to turn it down at most places when I was doing some testings because it seems too bright, which is actually a good uh, problem to have. Uh, especially you can use this at any environment, doesn't really have to be daytime, which is good. And you're able to adjust the brightness, which is nice. Looking at the bottom, we do have the USB type C that's for charging the unit. And then uh, we get the micro SD slot. It does come included with uh, 32 gigs as well, which is good. And in the front, we do have some buttons. So we have a touch uh, that's for to take pictures. And the next one is for video. And if I go ahead and click this uh, button here, I'm able to go ahead and preview all my videos, pictures, and also go to the settings. Uh, just to go to the settings here so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, very simple, just to adjust the time, date, format the SD card, and the Wi-Fi switch. So you can go ahead and view the unit from your smartphone as well. And just to go ahead and uh, preview like a video that I've already taken with this. So all you need to do is click on the video portion, click the check mark. And here I'm able to preview all the videos that I have uh, in here. So if I go ahead and hit play, it's uh, very responsive, which is good actually. Taking a look at the main base station here. So we do have the two knobs, which uh, turn the light on and off and the color wheel as well. And the other knob, so this is to bring the whole thing up and down. And uh, whenever you wanna go ahead and mount it back to the base, all you need to do is uh, pretty much just bring it in here. It does have this slot, as you can see, so you cannot mistake it like to put it any other, like in a wrong way because it has that slot and uh, just bring it all the way down and you're set. Then you can go ahead and adjust the knob so you can bring the microscope up and down here. 
So right now we're gonna go ahead and look at the, all the specimens it comes with here. So a total of uh, 10 of them. So here we have the first uh, specimen. So this is a corn seed, so let's just put it under here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and record, so you're gonna see the footage straight from the microscope as well. And uh, focusing here is uh, very straightforward. Um, so we do have uh, two places where we can zoom in. So this is like, you can get very close here. And if I go ahead and turn the base light as well, so I'm just gonna leave it to the bright white light. So we can definitely see some nice uh, detail here. Uh, this is the goldfish scales and uh, putting that under. This is the pumpkin stalk. This one I found to be very interesting here. So because this, like if I'm just looking at it, uh, like I, uh, this is kind of what I see here. Uh, like it's very small. You're really not able to make out anything, but under this microscope, you're pretty much able to see all, all these uh, details here, which is uh, very interesting. So here we have a B four legs. And here we go. And uh, here's the next one. And uh, now we have the pine pollen here. Uh, this one I was uh, having a little bit of a hard time finding it. So let's just uh, go ahead and uh, zoom out here. So it will give us a better chance to pinpoint it where, what we're looking at. So I kind of see, I think here, the little colors. So I'm assuming that's what we're going after. And uh, yep, yeah, that's that one. So here's the onion skin. So this one looks very interesting. Like I would have never thought like an onion skin would look like this. And uh, look at all that detail here. Looks very cool. And if I go ahead and zoom out a little bit further, so you can kind of get the idea. And this is the last uh, pine leaf uh, cross cut here. And uh, let's see how this one looks like. For someone who doesn't really know microscopes, I'm really happy that they included all these uh, specimens so I can go ahead and kind of see the potential of this uh, microscope here. So that's a really great add-on. So right now, let's go ahead and take the microscope out from the base and uh, we're just gonna do a few things uh, which I did after getting this. So first, uh, I got a few coins here just so we can kind of see like kind of what detail we get if we're looking at a coin. And uh, the good thing is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the record button. So everything you're seeing is gonna come directly from uh, the microscope here. So take a look at this coin and uh, just to show you what we're gonna be looking at. So it's this here and uh, putting it under the microscope. As you can see, definitely some nice detail here, which you're not really able to pick up with your eyes if you're just looking at it and uh, if I want to go a little bit further away. And still you can see like all these scratches and everything else, uh, which you're not really able to see. So let's just go ahead and zoom in here. Another way which I think I'm going to be using this is uh, looking at something like a PCB or like soldering or anything like that. This would actually be great because I'm able to kind of like set this up in here and then uh, just uh, use my phone to kind of view it or probably a tablet to kind of live view the, what I want to solder, which would be 
a great thing to use this for. And I did uh, pick a few things up uh, from outside, um, like some rocks and this uh, dried out leaf. It wasn't dried out, but it's uh, dried out now by the time I'm doing the video of this. So looking at this uh, leaf here, uh, this is all the detail that we're getting here. If I go ahead and zoom in a little bit further here. So these are the kind of things you're gonna be taking a look at if you're going outside, bringing this with you. Things like this, like even this rock, if I go ahead and uh, zoom in here. So you're able to capture all these details. And then uh, you're able, you have all those containers, you can go ahead and uh, if you find a nice rock, put it in there, put a label and all that stuff as well. So first thing I did when I got this, I definitely went around the whole house and just uh, trying to see what, how things look. Even my clothes like this, like this shirt, you wouldn't think it looks like this, but when you go ahead and zoom in, you can see all the stitching and everything else, which looks pretty cool. A anything you zoom in looks pretty cool, except uh, when I go ahead and uh, do this to my arm, which I'm a, I know everyone who's gonna get this, is probably gonna put their like in their arm and like zoom in just to see how everything the skin looks like. So to save you all the trouble, so this is how it's going to look like. So the main device here also comes with a lens cap. So you're able just to go ahead and put the lens cap there and uh, so no dust can get in there, which is good that they included that. Uh, but just know once you go ahead and put it in the base, you kind of have to remove the cap because you cannot fit it in. Then you can put the cap back on as I did here. One thing I wish uh, this microscope had is like a tilting screen. That would have been perfect, especially if you're doing any kind of like uh, PCB work or anything like that, attaching anything, removing anything. It would have been nice just to have it up here so you can like do your thing and you can directly look. Um, the other alternative to doing that is uh, connecting this uh, to your smartphone, then you can kind of place that anywhere you want. And uh, while we're talking about the smartphone connections, uh, this is how it's pretty much done. So if I go ahead and uh, go to the main menu here and uh, going to the settings, all you need to do for the first time is go under Wi-Fi switch, turn it on. So all you're gonna need to do is uh, connect to this Wi-Fi. It's the DDLM2 and the password is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you're connected, as I am here, just go back and it says this device has been connected. So right now, if I go ahead and click up here, I'm able to see the live view. And here you can see kind of like the differences uh, between the two. And if I go ahead and out of focus, you can see it, it's almost like uh, instant as what I'm doing here with the Wi-Fi. It's pretty instant, so you can kind of use your smartphone or tablet if you don't want to use the screen here, if you have a bigger screen. So you can definitely do that and it works pretty good. So the other thing what you can do with the app is go under system album and here I'm able to go ahead and uh, click the videos that I have and I can download them, I can uh, look at them if I want to straight from my phone here or you can do it from the device itself as well. So you have those two options. Other than not having a, like a tilted screen, I couldn't really find anything really wrong with this. It It's a pretty cool uh, thing. I've been uh, kind of using this pretty frequently because usually when I whenever I get the stuff like this, I use it maybe for a day or so and then it goes to the closet and just stays there, collects dust. But this I've been actually, I had to charge it a few times. So that means I've been using it, which is good. If I had this as a kid, I would have freaked out because uh, definitely you're able to do some pretty cool stuff with this. And uh, one thing I did is go around the whole house and then kind of showing everyone, oh, this can do this, this can do that. So that's uh, one thing you can definitely expect if you're getting this uh, as a gift for someone. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions about this or if you would like me to test this out in any way, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll be more than happy to do that because I'm able to just hit record here and then I can go ahead and upload the video very quickly, which is nice. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next uh, video.